Alright. Today's message is on joy. <laughs> it's amazing how everybody's little way of their own being creates joy. But everybody should have joy. It's not the loss of respect. It's not the loss of doing what needs to be done to survive here on our mission of our creation of who and what and how and when. But joy is a peculiar understanding. Peculiar. Because everybody's got a different idea of it. What is joy? Are you going to be joyful? Are you going to be joyless? Are you going to even understand what joy is? Would it be a relaxing issue? Would it be where nothing really matters, even though other people might think there's matters? What is joy? Is joy an aggravation? To some people it will be. The control factor. The power plays. <coughs> ah. The idea that we have to do it somebody else's way or man. It doesn't create joy. It actually creates conflict. Because once the expectations take hold that my joy uh, will create your joy and that it has to be joyful. Well, if life was like that, it would be a whole different miracle. But what we're trying to create and do are miracles, right? 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 Miracles. <coughs> in our state of being, in our environment, with other human beings, the communications, joys, the flowers that bloom, everything that comes naturally, that is respected and unconditionally loved, the animals, the plants, the even other human beings that don't make us as a happy. Because happy is just a state of mind. If you find that state of mind, then you know you just had a miracle. Can you live a full life of miracles? Well, then how do we get over our lessons? Our lessons of being equal with each other here. Between the environment, our spirituality, our understanding that we are individual, but we're all part of the one. <coughs> not to set limits. Not to set expectations. Not to set down the ideals that it's my way, the power play. It's a give and take. It's a surrender to the now. And to just have your complete state of being as who you are. And if other people can't handle that, I don't know what else to tell you. Because I'm getting a lot of that these days. To where... You have to know that everybody has the free will of choice and right because they're here to help share and create and multiply those little miracles and the blessings and the environment of, of the joy, you know, the creativity. The, it, if it comes naturally, then it's the pure essence of all creation, oh, like heaven on earth, right? Heaven on earth. It is a lovely thought. It's a wonderful idea that we all can share and manifest together if we don't take the rest of it personal. Personal. The ideologies of mine, me, me. Well, that's a little egoness, isn't it? I mean, come on, where's the ego playing today? Is it playing with each other peacefully and joyfully? Or is it tearing down and destroying and manifesting anger and hate? Hate is an illusion as well. To hate something is to give all your disgust and your disgrace and pull up the ugly. Hate is not good. Hate actually makes an aggravation to the point where something is going to come back to you of a bigger hate. Hate needs to be eliminated out of anybody's vocabulary. Hate is not good. It's the opposite of joy. How do you get joy if you have hate for things? If the menial littleness and things of our material possessions create a hate 
or a joy. Each one has their own personal things, but you don't go shoving off your personal things on others. Others. I love to see the pure smile on the kids' faces when they know that they're sharing together and playing and creating joy and trying to understand that it's all part of why we're here. There's no expectations. Oh, maybe there are. Kids have a way of expecting things, but we've taught them to do that. Do they get a token after they've done something good? Do adults? Yeah, adults kind of, maybe. We've all forgotten that this is to be shared and to use each other's resources in a beneficial way for the all. Not individually, not hoarding it, <coughs> not expecting that others need to follow your way and your path and your being, because it's never going to work like that. Never! To make accountable, to make highly accountable of who and what we are here on this planet. We're so single beings of one thing. So fractally, we're all an essence of the same thing. Yes, joy is available. Yes, hate is available. Expectations get in the way. So... I'm just over these expectations, I'm over the accusations, I'm over the judgments. I have joy. I have joy of being me. And if anybody outside of me can't handle that, even if it doesn't look like I have joy, see, because that's an assumption. <coughs> For the way that people look, it's just a facade. Okay, I'd like the house maybe a little heavier, more tits, more ass. I would like to have more and more and more. No, because it is what it is, whatever. We all have to surrender to the truth of the now of the being here. Not wanting, not, you know, trying to acquire ideologies that are just not natural, okay? Nature has her own set of rules, and we need to learn them. We need to get with them, and understand them, and use them, and enjoy them. There is so much that we can be doing that would just make, like, the sun shining brighter, or perk up somebody's day with a smile, with a, <laughs> you know, nothing harmful, harm nothing, harm nothing. And then the joy will show up. The joy is letting down your end of the rope when somebody wants to prod and push your buttons. And what we're here to try to do is not have any buttons, even though it's pretty difficult since we were born with these buttons and these energies that are out of our control that were set into motion before our creation that this is who and what we're going to be. Birth. So we come in the world with a mighty punch, and then we're trying to fight the whole way through because that's how we were born. And then we're taught to expect, and then we're taught to want, and we're taught that things aren't bigger than us, it's what we have, what we own. Not who we are. Personally, singly, the true spirit of ourselves, not the ego, and wants the new iPod and thinks they have to have this straight line when a curvy line is so much nicer and softer and prettier and more harmonic. It's like some people really just want disharmony and things that are out of our control. Yes? Oh, hi. <laughs> Things out of our control! <laughs> yes, it is. Thumbs up. Not a judgment. Not an expectation. Not a power play. 
<laughs> the joy of the synchronicity. <laughs> The, ooh, the onion smelling, cooking, dinner party tonight. Woohoo! We'll see what kind of good pictures I can get tonight, huh? Find your joy in any second that you can find it and share it. And if you're even in a rotten mood, know that if you can smile at somebody and just share the love of being alive, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what the occurrences shall be, no matter how it seems to come about. Yeah, every so often we can find disappointments, but you know what? Disappointments turn into miracles, because not everything is in our plan of existence. Our path and our road map, okay, was again set here before birth. If you believe in reincarnation or not, that's okay. But there has been a plan set. And we are all under different directions of energies that we either learn to accept and to hold and to use to our benefit, or we can use them as um, things that can get in our way and make things intolerable and not understandable because other people have expectations of occurrences that are when things aren't. They aren't. They just aren't. Always the way we seem to think, to believe that we were taught supposed to be. Huh. You know? It's all but a dream. And if we can joyfully know that we are who we are and it's all safe, it's all okay, there is a benefit of blessings if we allow them and to just keep sharing it. I mean, the unconditional love of being is the truth of the factor of why we are put here on the earth, is to help everybody else's spirit know that unconditional love, which will bring joy, which creates harmony. And then heaven is here on earth. Like here in the woodpecker every morning now, tapping on the tree. I know the universe is still doing its job for us to grow, for us to stir the shit of the garden for compost to make something better and beautiful. Plant the seeds of positive love and joy and just tolerance. I mean, tolerance and respect are two of the biggest things that we're missing here, which is not fair or nice, but that's the way it goes because that's what we were taught was supposed to be. <coughs> we are living in another manifestation of creator's way and we can change that by becoming more aware and being aware and just unconditionally existing with each other by the sharing compassion the joy the understanding yeah it's all pretty decent if we know how to use it properly and if we all get off ourselves on how other people expect us to be, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. But every so often you can add that joy. Because that joy is really the essence of why we're here. And until you know that you're safe within your spirit of your soul, being who you really are here to be, then you just might be keep hurting yourself and kicking the walls and deteriorating what things are around you. Create in peace an intent and that is for the everything. Not just for yourself, not just for your family, but for everything. Everything is here for a reason and so are we. Yeah, she's over there talking to herself again, again. <laughs> well, I think that's my rant on joy for the moment. I really, really do. And it's all good. If we remember to share in peace, 
unconditional love and share the joy because heaven is here around us if we allow it to be and become. Love y'all. Peace out. Bye.